this man is definitely on your dial. I like the fact that Zoom now is asking me whether I want to allow Jerome to record me, man. Before Jerome just used to be able to press record and, and catch me singing or catch me dancing, all these different things I do in the studio. But now Zoom says, are you willing to let this clown record you? And I appreciate that, man. I, I appreciate that, Zoom. Room and room, room. What's good, my friend? Hey, talk for the water, but I big L um, I don't know. I I hate Zoom for that now. I was mean, like, I was actually just thinking with that the sweater, and I was like, man, I can't catch Big L no more, man. Like, I I know how I feel about this new policy. When you talk about top embarrassing moments, Ron probably has a before of them. <laughs> that, that if he ever, ever. <laughs> But, uh, you know, he's my friend, so we, we can, I ain't got to worry about those things that are hitting the light of day, man. But shout out to Rumi. You know what we're about to do, man. We got to talk uh, everything sports right now. Everything from local to international. What's been going on in the world of sports? Yep. Well, hey, good morning again, Bahamas. This is Sideline Sports and Entertainment Bahamas. Turning stories from the sidelines to the headlines here only on More 94.9 FM. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this lovely Tuesday morning. And, um, man, as far as sports from the local side, I had a conversation with um, Coach Nico Bulls yesterday, and yeah, I, I'm excited to announce that, yeah, the competent authority has approved the International Basketball Account Academy Jam Fest. That's actually going to take place in a couple of weeks on June 4th um, through the 6th. There's going to be a three-point shootout, dunk contest, half-court shorts. Um, there's going to be a primary boys division. Um also for girls, there's going to be a junior boys division, senior boys, post grad, and open. So anybody who's a baller, yeah, get your chance to come out, show out, and um, yeah, um, I, I also want to throw this out there. So you student athletes, man, this is an opportunity for you. Um, the word is there's going to be some international um, recruiters that's going to be attending as well. Um, and then hey, folks from getting recruited, man. But um, yeah, definitely looking forward to this event. Probably is going to be one of the biggest basketball events for the summer. And again, looking forward to seeing some of our student athletes. Um, you know, come and show up. Um, now on to some international sports. We got some news from the NFL. So um, our team, well, yeah, yeah, I gotta say, our team in the pants. Um, so they resign or looking to resign veteran QB um, Brandon Hoyer. Um, so I, don't know, I think um, I think we're trying to secure secure the backup for for Cam. I think Matt Jones might be a little bit too young. So I, was about to say that. I thought um, Matt Jones was supposed to be that guy. Yeah, yeah, um, well, yeah, um, but, you know, well, uh -huh. I was just going to say, keep in mind now, we got Cam Newton, got Brandon Hoyer there, Mac Jones, and um, also, don't forget, Jack Stidham is still there as well, so, yeah, that roster, as far as the, as far as the QB position, I just want them, I want them to hurry up, steal a deal with Julio Jones, that's what I, I need them to hurry up doing, man. You saw that, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever they do, they can find Hoyer or whatever, I don't know, it's whatever. They need to figure out a way to officially sign that deal with Julio Jones, and then I will say, I can't wait for week four. Because yeah, with, yeah. The, with the tight ends we signed, with uh, Julio Jones, mm -hmm. Cam, he better step up and give us <laughs> a winning season. Like, ain't no more excuses. You got everything. You got the tools, and you got one of the best coaches the league has ever seen. You got to deliver. Hey, well, the way I look at it this year, Cam, Cam is going to be on the uh, is, is going to be on the hot seat every game this season. Every game. <laughs> hey, I, I I don't want to be in his position this season. I'm um, also talking about some football news. Um, uh, it looks as though um Tom Brady he is um, permanently going to be a resident of Tampa Bay. Um, Derek Jeter, you know, he was renting his house, but um, yeah, the sale actually went through. So Tom Brady now owns two million dollars on a house. <laughs> 22 million on a house, yo. I'm like, no. whoa. Man, this man, this man, this hey. Good money out there in Tampa. Hey, it ain't tricking if you got it, you know. You know? <laughs> 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 you did not lie, my friend. Hey, we got all we got some news for the NBA as well. Well, getting ready for the play-in tournament that starts tonight. We got the Hornets and the Pacers. That's going to be a six thirty game. Um, I, got, I got the Hornets in that game. Yeah, I think I'm going with them too. Yeah. And then um, this one is going to be really nice. We got the Wizards and the Celtics. That's going to be at nine o'clock. I got, got the I got the Wizards in that game. 
Boy, hey, I ain't going to lie, right? I really love the Celtics. But again, I remember my statement that I made last week. They saw off me. They saw yeah, off me. And, you know? and Russ, and Russ hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Russell and Bill, they have they they've been playing like they got a chip on their shoulder, bro. Like I yeah. got the I got the Washington Wizards in that game against the Celtics. I, yeah. I got the Wizards. Yeah, now, if, yeah. They, if they lose, I am okay with that too. But I really feel though they're gonna be able to pull that victory off. Yeah, I you know what I gotta lean to you, man. Um, I think Jason Tatum go off, but yeah, I gotta go with the Wizards on that one, man. Um, some couple other notes from the NBA. Malv Alford announced that he's getting retired at the end of this playoff run. Um, yeah, there's gonna be some changes in the NBA. Um, one of those things like I was like, whoa, Malv Alford is gone. It's like the NBA won't be the same anymore, you know. And um, also LeBron is um actually advocating for Steph to be MVP ahead of the play-in tournament. I thought I thought that was kind of like a political move, like, hey, exactly. you know, just to give it... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give Whatever, you some, We know yeah, better. Give you some shine, and then, he, you know, he could just go for the, for the, for the um, finals MVP, seeing that they might make it there. But, um, yeah, man, as far as sports this morning, that's definitely a wrap. Manda Panda, glad to have you back in the studio. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it's good it. to be back. It's good to be back. So what we're going to do right now, we got to take a quick commercial break, man. We thank Jerome for coming through and giving us our sideline sport report on the next side. break. We'll be officially in the 9 o'clock hour. So ladies and gentlemen, keep it out. Talk to me. It's more music and more entertainment always on More 94. Good morning. I'm-